Murderers never stop shocking the courts with the excuses that they make about the crimes they commit, and Luis Salazar was no exception. Who is Luis Salazar, and what gave away his crimes? Did he really kill Martha Sanchez by purpose, or was it a mistake? And why did he confess to another murder charge just before his execution? It's nearly midnight on October 11th, 1997, in San Antonio, Texas. A woman named Martha Sanchez sleeps in her bedroom along with her two-year-old daughter. Her six-month-old son sleeps in a crib beside her in the same room. Martha's husband is out working an overnight shift, and her 10-year-old son Eric is asleep in his bedroom. However, Martha forgets to lock a window in her house while everyone is sleeping soundly. A man enters the house through a window and enters the bedroom where Martha is sleeping with her two young children. The man grabs hold of Martha and tries to sexually assault her in her sleep. Martha screams for help at the top of her lungs. However, the man stabs her multiple times. Her son Eric hears the commotion in her mother's room and rushes to her safety. He tries to save his mother from being stabbed and gets a hold of the attacker's arm. However, the attacker stabs 10-year-old Eric as well. Martha yells, Eric, run! To which Eric runs out of the house and bangs his tiny fist on his neighbor's door while bleeding profusely from his chest. Thankfully, one of the neighbors opened their doors and rushed to Eric's house. However, the man who had attacked escapes on a bicycle. Martha's wounds were lethal and she succumbed to her wounds. Her two-year-old baby, covered in blood, lay beside her mother's dead body. Thankfully, she was unharmed. Eric was rushed to a hospital where his wounds were treated to. Eric knew who the attacker was. It was 27-year-old Luis Salazar, her former neighbor, who had attacked him. The whole city was on the lookout for Salazar. This might have prompted him to surrender himself to the police. Did you know that it was not the first time Salazar had committed a crime? Before we get into this, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Nearly four years back, Salazar had pleaded guilty for a sexual attack on a mentally unstable 18-year-old high school student. And even before that, he was given probation on multiple counts of aggravated robbery and holding a store down. Salazar's mother-in-law's house was next to Martha's and he had moved out of the house nearly three weeks back. Martha's husband had helped Salazar to get him a job in a nearby supermarket, and from then onwards, Salazar was sexually attracted to Martha, and on multiple occasions, he had tried to make a move on her. He was reprimanded by her husband, and had told him to leave her alone. Salazar pleaded not guilty, and claimed that after a night of cocaine and drinking, he had mistakenly entered Martha's house, thinking it was his mother-in-law's. When Martha screamed, he thought that he had intruders in his house, and this caused him to stab Martha. When a hand grabbed his arm, he thought that there were more than one intruder, and stabbed the second intruder too. He realized that he was in a stranger's house when Martha asked Derek to run. However, the court was not convinced of his story. His long list of convictions proved otherwise. Moreover, the police had found out that the telephone cables to Martha's house had been cut by someone. Although Salazar denied doing such a thing, the court knew what had happened. The jury found him guilty, and he was sentenced to death. However, before his death, he had confessed to another murder he had committed a long time ago, about an 18-year-old convenience store clerk whose name he didn't remember. After a thorough investigation, a code case which had similar facts as mentioned by Salazar came to the forefront. The woman's name was Melissa Morales, and she had been stabbed and killed while she was working as a clerk in a convenience store. His confessions before his death penalty helped to close Melissa's case and gave her family the closure that they had sought for. Even though Salazar had killed an innocent woman, he never had any remorse for what he had done. Eric's physical wounds healed fast, but what will heal the mental and psychological trauma that was inflicted upon a young child that night? Everything he saw that night is that it's crystal clear in his memory. Luis never apologized or acknowledged Martha's family. From his death chamber gurney, he thanked all of his friends and relatives and expressed his love to all his relatives, including his children. His last words were, My heart is going bump bump, bump bump. A bump, after which he laughed an evil laugh. He then asked for forgiveness for the things he didn't remember and prayed in his last moments. He was pronounced dead at 6.20 p.m. What do you think of this case? Was Salazar's punishment appropriate? What if he was given a chance at reformation? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you liked our video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content.